You know, it's about time that I... No. I said I was going to be completely honest and tell you the truth, didn't I? Mm-hmm. And that would be refreshing. I deserve that. Sarcasm and more, I'm sure. But I just don't know where to begin. Okay, let's start with uh, your relationship with Todd Manning. See? That's why you're the commish. Right. <laughs> you know, one minute you're about to take any job out there, any minimum wage job, the next thing, Todd hires you uh, as his fashion editor and his right hand. And you don't believe that I was given that job based on my talent and abilities. Well, I, I just think it might have been, had something to do with something else. You're right. Oh, it had to do with blackmail. Manning's blackmailing you? Oh, sure, that's why he wanted you so close. Huh? Keep an eye on you. I'll tell you what, you file a complaint, I will get a warrant. No, uh, no. Mm -mm. Why, why? You know, don't you? Todd wasn't blackmailing me. I was blackmailing him. So you were blackmailing Manning. All I wanted was a job. I mean, no. I promised you the truth, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you did. I wanted a lot more. I wanted respectability. I wanted a career. I wanted to be somebody. It all started, you see, when Max told me that he wanted nothing more to do with me. All right, but right, let's, let's focus on blackmail. I'm, get, I'm getting to that. Okay. Al found out that the only reason I married your father was to hurt Max. And that's when he turned his back on me. And then Asa had his crescendo by throwing me out of the mansion. So I had no home. No love, and no son. No power, no importance, no self-respect. And then you stepped in, and you were the first person to show any real compassion to me since I had come back to Landview. Uh, yeah, but let's face it, I, you know, I was trying to stick a days or two. Still, if you hadn't offered me this place to stay, I would have been out on the streets. I will never forget that, Bo. And all I asked in return was that uh, you get a job. And I tried. Two and three interviews a day. Do you have any idea how humiliating it is to be turned down over and over for jobs that are completely beneath your ability and capabilities? Yeah, I, I can imagine. And that interview was the last straw, you know, at the Silver Moon Boutique. And I didn't get that. Anyway, I was standing there, thinking, how am I going to get any kind of position, you know, if I don't meet the right people? But, but how am I going to meet the right people wearing what I was wearing? Because when Asa threw me out, he threw me out in the very clothes I was wearing. And at that point, my pantyhose were all tattered. And that's when I decided to borrow that dress. Steal that dress. <laughs> Looking like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. At least looking like somebody who could afford another outfit. I decided to go to that um, gallery opening and try and meet some of Lambview's movers and shakers and get get myself a career. It sounded like quite a plan. Except, you see, with my luck, the only movers and shakers that I met was this one con artist by the name of David Vickers. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Funny thing is, he thought he'd snagged a wit, a rich, divorced woman. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I'd heard that he would had passed through here. Again, so did he, did he give you information that then you could use against Manning? 
Uh, not not quite. You, you're you're warm. And, uh, at that point, I was uh, I was at my wit's end, and I took a walk to the river, and I I seriously considered throwing myself into the river. That's when I found you. Well, yes, uh, but before that, though, I'd happened on a meeting between Mr. Vickers and Todd. And that's when my luck turned around, because that's when I overheard what Todd had done. Oh, God, what's his latest? He told Blair that her baby had died. Yeah, the baby in Mexico. Oh, it didn't die. He gave it away. He gave their baby away? Because he thought that it was Max's baby, but then when he found the truth that he was really the father, then he went and got the child back. The baby that he just found is so that he and Blair could adopt it. Yeah, it's amazing what you're over here on the docks, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what you were blackmailing Manning with. That's why he made you uh, fashion editor of The Sun. Yes. And to this day, Blair has no idea that Jack is the baby that she gave birth to in Mexico. You know, I always knew Manny was a lowlife, but this is sicker. This, this is more cruel than anything that I ever even thought that he was capable of. And I helped him. Well, you kept a secret in exchange for a job. Yeah, that's most of it. Real, well, what else is there? I lied for Todd as well. His son got ill with aplastic anemia, the same illness that little Star had, and so he needed to find the original bone marrow donor. Alex Olenoff. Alex. And Todd didn't want Blair to find out that Jack had it because... Because aplastic anemia is so rare, and then she might have put two and two together. But she did find out, uh, except the way he got her to not believe that he was her biological son. Oh, well, I stepped in and convinced her that, no, I was the new bone marrow donor. End of story? Yes, for my part, at least. I'm in terrible trouble, aren't I? Well, whatever risk I've put our friendship in by telling you the truth, it was in an even greater risk if I'd kept lying to you, and I, I just couldn't do it anymore. And you were right. Of course I should have taken your advice. I never should have had anything to do with Todd, but I needed what he had to offer me job, a career. I just couldn't flip burgers in a fast food restaurant. You understand that, don't you? I gotta go. No, no. Uh, I just need to say that if I had this to do all over again, please don't tell me that I've lost this friendship. Next week on One Life to Live. Oh my God, this is live. This is for real. Live. It's tough, man. It should be fun. Crazy things will happen. I'm hoping they'll let Todd sing. I'm looking very much forward to this. It's going to be rock and roll. This is going to be Oh My God TV.